What's up everybody, B-Boy Spaz here, and today we're going to be looking at separating our drum sounds for mixing in the NNXT. So if you were watching my last tutorial, we saw we could make layered patches in the NNXT, but if you know anything about Reason, when we're hooking devices up to our mixer, it's going to come in one track. Now, if we have one track, we can't control what's holding on with the drums. Maybe we want to pan the hi-hats, or we want to, you know, pan the kicks separate from the hi-hats, or the hi-hats are too loud, or anything of that sort. Now, you can do that down here on the bottom half of the NNXT with all these options down here. But what would be nice as well is if we could actually separate those drum sounds into different tracks on our mixer so that we can control them that way. So here I have all my drum sounds, and I have a little beat. So here's my little beat I got going on. And if we look in our mixer, everything is coming through on this one track. So let's actually separate all this. To do that, we're going to want to come through our sounds select one of the sounds we have in the sampler section of the NNXT and down in this right corner we have the output now this output it's stereo so it's one and two and where we can find what's going on with this is back here so if you hit tab now I'm on the back of my NNXT and we see all of our outputs remember they're gonna be all in 16 in stereo excuse me so you have one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so on, so forth. So I have all these tracks that I can basically put my sounds onto. And what you want to do is keep the same type of sounds together, but separate different sounds. So I have a kick drum. I want that on one, two. I have another kick drum. It's a little different, but I'll go ahead and keep it on one, two. I got some hi-hats, so let's go ahead and switch that to three, four. And if you see here, I'm just dragging the knob up to turn it. I think that's a clap sound, so let's put that on 5-6. Here's a different clap sound, and I actually want it separate from the last one that was on 5-6. So it'll be on 7-8. Here's a different hi-hat type sound. Put that on 9-10. Here's something that's actually layered with the sound here that was on 7-8. So I actually want to just go ahead and put that one as well on 7 and 8. This one as well was layered with this one here. So I want that on 5, 6. And then a tambourine sound. I think 11 and 12 was open. So now I have all my drum sounds mapped out. And as you see, if I play it now, the only thing that's coming out is here, but it's only kicks because I changed the output of the rest of them. So to get my sounds back in the mixer and hear them again, we want to hit tab to go to the back. And if you click and drag from any of these holes, you'll basically get wire and you can put it wherever you need to. So these are outputs, so they need to go into inputs. So you always want to grab from the left side, the first number. And you want to always put it on the top because then it'll automatically put the other one as well. So now I'm patching up my NNXT to the mixer. And now we can flip it back around. And you see I have all my sounds here. And from now I can actually start mixing my stuff. Changing where everything is lined up at. Solo certain sounds. And I can mix it all down that way. So, that is how we can separate our sounds from the NNXT. And you can use this in further applications by adding different things in between the mixer. So instead of just 
connecting directly to the mixer, we can add an EQ before that and then to the mixer. So definitely some things to check out. Keep up on it. And if you have any questions for me, send them my way. All right. Peace.